Dude, the little dreamer, dude. Little dreamer. Ooh, boy. And I remember staring at the ceiling, trying to deal with emotions and no more feelings. All I wanted was a picture on my What is up everyone? Here we are. Another beautiful day in paradise. Just walked out on the back porch. Still got all this mess out here. Projects in motion oh, from yesterday. Not a mess really, it's just unfinished dreams. But I have this hand cart that I got off a job. Never used it ever. Because the tires, well, I think I did use it with the tires flat. But I'm going to pump up these tires and use it today. We're doing a scrap load. Um, I have a heat water heater over there. There's a washer, water heater from Chuck, washer from Mark Kelly. I got some scrap in the car already. Two uh, grill in the back of the truck from Sean Duffy. Um, there's a dishwasher I found in the trash and then up the street like two blocks um, there's a scrap score from our boy who hit us up on Instagram which was really cool and we're gonna load up the stuff here take the trailer over there load up that stuff and then take it over to the scrap yard anything else that's laying around the yard too that I don't want anymore is going so I'm gonna pop up these pump them up the tires and then get going on the scrap claims today Pretty much everything about life and trying to be successful in any aspect at all or just making it is about just consistently pushing. So like every tiny little thing that you do adds up to something bigger. Um, no, it seems weird talking about scrap like that, but every everything, every piece of scrap, every connection I make, every piece of scrap that I pick up gets me further along. And a lot of scrap connections turn into bigger and more awesome things later on. A lot of them are just scrap, but a lot of them can turn into, you know, friendships or the possibility of scoring a lot of other things or work or all but you got to just keep pushing that's the main thing in life perseverance is the only thing that's going to get you anywhere but i'm about to pump this up <laughs> Alright, so here's what we got going on. I pulled up the trailer so I have room to put the stuff in and still enough room there so people can drive by the street. And what some people were saying before, I make a lot of noise in the morning. It's not like early morning, like 7. I usually don't start. I usually do my editing and stuff early morning when I wake up at like 7. 6, 7, 8, and then I start this at like 9 or 10, the scrap life. So I don't want to piss anyone off. Oh man, there's some kind of an egg right there. Wonder what that came from.
All right, we're loaded up for what we got from the house. And we're gonna go pick up the rest of the scrap. There's some scrap in here too, not much, but. And then we're gonna go to the scrap yard. So we have the trailer ready for tomorrow's job. You out in the scrap line. All right, we just cruised around the block and came up on some heavy shit. What is this little dream? Cool, but unnecessary. How's this thing? Battery powered tape. A cord. And then we got this piece of scrap right here. Just going right in the trailer. This wasn't even in the plans, but these hats are cool. Actually, this box is cool. A little bit cool. So this is the claim here. I guess this was a foreclosure house. Not really sure. But all this stuff is going straight scrap life. This pile, I'm guessing that piece right there. And there's a fridge out back. This is heavy out here. Total foreclosure. Hundred percent foreclosure, right? I think all this, the fridge, and that's pretty much it. Do I have gloves in there? This is actually a really cool sink. Door or tub. You'd never ever be able to sell it, but it's cool. That swing is epic, though, dude. Right? So epic. How, what are the chances if you sat on that, it would just break on one side? <laughs> like in Ninja Turtles? It definitely would. Unveiling of what this fridge looks like. Doesn't feel that heavy, though, at least. Not that I can see. No, not that I can see. All right, so the neighbor's just freaking out taking pictures of our license plate, so I pretty much cursed them out. Should have got the footage, didn't. But, uh... You're gonna run over the shit that's in the way. Okay. I hope this battery doesn't die. Yeah, run the whole thing. Should I call Cole? No. Nah. Alright. I mean, yeah, I guess. Hey, how's it going? 
Our friend's cleaning out this house. He put the scrap to the side for us. Okay. Do you want me to give you his number? Yeah, because a couple neighbors called and... Uh, yeah, he was coming over was here and harassing, harassing me. me. taking pictures of my license plate and stuff. I well, he wasn't harassing you. He was getting the tag, so he called the police. Well, he did it in a very harassing type of way. Okay. It wasn't your just like... Your, uh, licenses? I have a passport. Okay, you need a passport. I need your license registration for the trailer, too. Do you have a cell phone? Excuse me? A cell phone, so I can give you this number. For what? To call our friend that's cleaning out the house. Who, who is the owner of this property? Oh, we have no, it's bank owned. Obviously it's foreclosed. Okay, well who is the person that gave you permission? His name's Cole. Okay, and, and what is your relationship to him? We have a YouTube channel. Uh-huh. He follows us on YouTube, okay. so he knows we scrap. Okay. And what is his involvement with this house? He's cleaning it out, him and his crew, I guess. These people, NJTMC, I'm assuming, unless that's just who they've rented the dumpster from. I'm assuming they just rented the dumpster. So you're assuming, but you don't know? Nope. I, my, this is my dad's truck. I don't know exactly where he keeps the registration and everything. Can you grab my passport? It's in the glove box. He called us because we have a house on Osborne. Mm -hmm. So it's right here. Okay. Oh, do you I have, have a... The registration for the trailer on me. It's at my house. I live up two blocks from here. Uh, what about the vehicle registration insurance? Oh, looking for that. And then I'm going to give you a name to you, be Is it passport number? Pretty sure. First name's going to be Joan. Correction. What's your uh, last name? Weiss? Weiss. First name's going to be Samantha. Middle name Joan. Last name Weiss. Whiskey Echo. This is how heavy it is trying to make an honest living. Right. So this guy's raising his voice with us. I'm raising my voice too because I just don't understand it, but this is getting out of control. There's another cop showing up. So hopefully we get this just cleared up because this is getting crazy. Just don't even talk anymore. Oh, let me see the camera. No. You shut it off again? No, it's on now. Okay. It wasn't ever recording. So I'm going to explain everything to I you that I explained to you okay. before. Okay. You got hostile with me. Because we got called out here because neighbors called because they were concerned about people stealing scrap metal. Because okay. we have had problems with this in the past. Okay? It's the only reason we came out here. I came out here, I asked you in regards to who you were here for, why you were here, who were you working for, and it was very limited information. I have to follow up on this information. Okay? For you to only videotape parts that you want to post on, on the internet or whatever, you're just trying to paint us to be something that we're not, which is not fair, okay? If you're gonna post everything, post everything, all right? If to avoid this, you should have paperwork from whoever you're doing work for, okay? Have all your documentation and there won't be no problem. But you can't say somebody's harassing you because yeah. He took the a way listen. that guy was acting because, because was, was what really it's not harassing. It's, it's, it was really disrespectful. But let me explain something. It's not harassing because he is getting information to call the police because he feels that there is a crime that may be committed right now. It's no, it's no disrespect to you. It's he feels that there may be something wrong here, 
and he wants to report it because we've had a problem in the past with scrappers stealing metal. So, I mean, I would think that you would like a neighbor that would look out for your I property. would, but you don't know how he was acting towards okay. us. And well, then he was like taunting us like, oh, too late, I got the pictures, whatever I want to do, I can take as many, okay. all this well, crazy stuff. I mean, I wasn't and there. And it wasn't there. Wasn't like, there. I'm really calm usually. Okay. And I'm really, like, if you've seen any of my other videos, you haven't, but I've dealt with police before and I'm usually really respectful, but he set me off and it wasn't it wasn't right the way he was acting to me. And, and, and not, I apologize right. for acting disrespectful to you because he made me upset. And I'm, and I'm not, sorry, and, and I really am, I'm that's, sorry. That's fine, and I'm not gonna disagree with you. I wasn't here to see that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your word of what, what happened before I got here. I'm taking the information I have and I'm working with that information I have. I wasn't here for what the conversation that you two had, okay, but I'm just letting you know, However, he may have done it or got the information, he was doing it to call the police. Whether it was right, wrong, or maybe it was inappropriate, I don't know. I was there. I didn't see it. Unfortunately, that is that is something that you would have to pursue if you wanted to. I don't I don't have time to even be but here I, right now. But I'm just going to explain to you. If, if you feel that, you know, something was done against you, that you felt was wrong, whatever, you're more than welcome to come down to the police department and we can pursue that matter also. But we have to do our job. If we get called here because nobody knows who's here, why they're here, we have to investigate it. Whether it's going to inconvenience somebody or not, we have to do our job because if that was legally somebody else's property that somebody that you talk to is giving away when it's not his to give away, that's a problem. We have to make sure things like that doesn't happen. Yeah, I totally That's understand all. it. And I um, would be I, upset I myself much... if this happened on one of my properties because I have left scrap out for myself. And right. if someone went and stole it, I would be upset. And again, the reason I was acting the way I was is because of the way he was acting to okay. me. And I'm sorry. No, that's that's yeah. fine. Listen, the emotions get the best of us sometimes. All right. Got all this scrap. Ready to go to the yard. Got it all cleared up with the police, so. Whew. All right, we're at the scrap yard now. About to dump this load. Fucking heavy, boys. Heavy. This guy's loading his, are they loading that truck with this shit? I don't even know. This guy's about to dump this shit, I guess. All right, here we are. Got the cash in and see what we got. <laughs> right? Yeah. You gonna just drive away without me? Let's <laughs> keep going. Thanks, sir. Nice. Would you keep that in your yard for a no. decoration? Mm -mm. I would. This thing's crazy looking. 
Oh shit. Hello? Dude, <laughs> that's cool. That's the kind of stuff I love in life. Dude, it's so sick. <laughs> it's like a gigantic drill. Like a, do you know these things? Yeah, totally. Grabbing this slip. Ooh, almost dropped it. All right, so it was more than I thought. So it must have been a lot of weight there. So $104, but that was with everything that we had. So we probably made about 60 bucks off of that house. 60 bucks probably off of that house. So shout out to the boy, Steve, I guess his name is. I was calling him Cole. His name on Instagram is Cole. Yeah. All right, our plan now, we just stopped home. I uploaded a video. Um, Sammy made us some shakes. We chilled out for a bit. And now we are heading to get gas with the money we just got from Scrap. Um, literally, we, we do like three big jobs before we get paid because the banks are kind of heavy. So really, we kind of like live like on very minimum, minimal or minimum amount of money until we get paid and then we use that money pretty much to pay all our bills. So we're kind of just like sliding by, but no one really cares probably about our personal life, but we're going about that part of our personal life, but we're gonna go put some gas in the car, put 50 in the bank, because we have to pay our mortgage in a few days and that was the gas light that just went on. And then we are heading to our friend Marilyn's house in Galloway. Seatbelt. And we have some pottery that she might want to buy off of us or whatever. Maybe just give it to her because she's been so good to us. And we bought her a piece of... Is it in here? Oh, yeah. I put it on the floor so it doesn't fall. A pot. A pot. Hold it while you're driving. Really? I didn't know that she collected whole pottery or whole whatever it is. It's a cooking pot. And Sammy J picked it up at a estate sale, right? Yeah, it was an estate sale. Or, or a, it was an estate, estate sale. sale for like $2. And it's a really nice piece and it matches the design of the other ones that we gave her. But I just picked it up to bring it into the car and I saw the bottom and it's a whole H-U-L-L. -L, just like the other two pieces of the pottery that we're going to bring to show her. Um, so it was actually the brand that she collects. It has a chip in it, but it's still kind of for the dream, I would claim. I'll show it to you guys when we get there, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we met her through YouTube. Her, son, her grandson's the one who gave us that pop-up camper. Um, which we ended up only getting like $65 for. I know some people think we didn't get any money. I didn't put how much we made in it. It was uh, a lot of work for a little bit of money, but they only gave us $3 every 100 pounds because it had all the wood on it. If we made 120 off of it, it would have been more worth it, which was, well, we would have made like 140 at regular scrap prices. So that would have been worth it. But either way, we did it and we made 65 but my point is YouTube creates relationships that are long-lasting and epic um, so yeah we're gonna go meet up with her for the third time I think ever and she's an awesome lady so here we go all right so this is the job we just finished a little bit ago um, Ooh, this is a filthy trash can but this is our trash can. And we're gonna take this one back because these things work so well for the jobs that we do. But I think I'm gonna just put this one in the back because this thing is foul. Along with the trash can we got back, that was ours. Two cinder blocks, a couple pieces of wood, and two packets of shingles for the shed roof. Um, that should be enough, hopefully. And then we'll throw out the rest, but all salvaged. So if it's free, it's me. I say that all the time for the drink. 
think we scored enough shingles for the whole shed roof. Does that make you cap air now? What? That we scored enough shingles for the whole roof of the shed that I'm going to oh, build? fuck yeah. There's that many? Dude, packs. Brand new packs that they just threw there because they had nowhere else to go with them. I think he was building that little shed right there for storage. Like for that kind of stuff. Alright, just pulled up to the spot. Heavy. Heavy. Right? Heavy. Question. <laughs> oh my god, hey, I dig pretty the legends. Good. You like them? Yeah. The legends. <laughs> yeah. She found this oh, at an estate sale for you. This and was a while ago. This is because though. of the pattern of it, right? Yeah. And then you told us today, I think yesterday, that you like that brand. Yeah, well, that's what so all it's, yeah, of my yeah. stuff is. Yeah. But I think yeah. it was like two bucks or something. Yeah. It's oh chipped God, a little bit, but it's there. it's cool oh right there. Yeah. Uh, you know then, what? Oh, my God. That's beautiful. And then these yeah. are the whole, too. If there, you like these, right? you can just have them. If you don't like them, I'll try and sell them. But if you want them, they're if cool. They're really cool. Up. They're not like dishware, but they're like artistic pottery, I guess okay. is what it's called. Like art decor. I didn't have so much shit in my house. I probably they are pretty so cool. That's beautiful. My mother used to have stuff like that. They are cool. The thing is, like, at first when, I found, when we found them, I was like, I don't understand why people want this stuff, but then as I've brought it into our house yeah. and cleaned it and started uh -huh. like looking at it over and over, I, I started to realize it's really 40s, cool. 40s, 50s, I, I think remember it's back in the 50s when... 48, I think, yeah. is what the date I found yeah. um, um, online. My mom used to have stuff like this. She used to have figurines with, um, like George, Wa like they were dressed in George Washington garb with the, you know, the, the powdered wigs and stuff like that. That's worth money. That's yeah. Worth well, these used that. to be worth like from all the sources that I'm getting, these oh, used to be yeah, These used to be hole. worth like a decent amount, like 70, 80, 100. Now they're worth like there's so many on eBay for like 20 bucks yeah, and they're not they, selling. They're not the, the real thing. They're Some of them are production. though. It's not yeah, like Yeah, they are, but there's a lot But of you're right. People that are just putting stuff up yeah. saying it's the same thing. Yeah, right. And I guess that kind of devalues the whole everything because well, the internet it's hard to, it too. Yeah, to yeah, see. Yeah, because, you know, you can get it anywhere. Yeah. Presents? I, I put these Presents. in here. These are for the, um, for the, the scope. It tells you how to do it. Where'd it's you a, get this thing from? DVD. What, telescope? Yeah. We bought it probably six years ago. You ever use it? Yeah, last summer I used it a lot. And there's something else in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. These are for the babies. Ooh, they love these things. Oh my God. Pinky. They do love these things. And they always lose, they lose them, them underneath them the under couch. And, uh, I couldn't resist it. Wow. True oh, though, right? That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> this is so cool. I got that. I'm gonna find Google. somewhere to put it in the house. Oh, I got that at Goodwill in um, Hamilton. Have you ever been to that Goodwill? In oh, Hamilton? Go. Is it the big one? Oh, it's big. Yeah. Present for the cats. <laughs> Let me yeah. put this here. Sissy. Sissy McSister. You see the Bobby best. Bobby. And this book? Yeah. Ooh, ghost towns. Oh, wow. wow. I know you like to explore. Yeah. Love ghost towns. I wish there was ones that were, like, closer to here. There is yeah, one. There I kind of. Which one? All right. Um. Ghost. All right. Amateur uh, astro uh, astrologist or astronomist. Oh, no, my dad loves telescopes. All right, so you're going in to look at it. You put this piece up. You got to look through here, though. Look through this, Donnie, right? This this magnifies this. Okay, this Going out piece. that way, yeah. So if you Is that how you focus it? Yeah, that's how you focus okay. and zoom in and out. That's what these are for. These are focus? Yeah. 
Let's so this thing is a dream. It's what it's mead. The mead life. Like the beer. Like the Viking beer. This thing's sick. All right, we just left Maryland's and Jake's house, and we just got pretty much the most epic news so far this week. Um, gonna go check out another freebie, a tractor that's left at a foreclosed house. Um, the guy we work for said we can either have it or he can have a company come and just recycle it like a scrapyard or something. So we're gonna go check it out right now. Probably 90% chance we're gonna take it and we're pumped another another score another dream claim so we're on the mission right now we're about I don't know, 15 minutes away we just left pretty much right when i got the text we had to go because that's how it works you the dream. dream okay so we're pulling in now this is a treasure hunt dude I'm pretty sure this is it, but they got a pink fence with instrument, like, keynotes on it, or whatever they're called. I think this is it, though. They do piano lessons back here? Oh, it's two properties, that's why. That's the main guy. This is the other guy. Control services. Oh, okay, this is definitely it, because he said wheelbarrow and ladder and take whatever you want and there's a lock box on the front so we're in there so there's the the ramps that we might need for it how's this dream so there's the wheelbarrow nice ladder Dude, the little dreamer, dude. Little dreamer. Ooh, boy. Little dreamer. Dude, this little dreamer, that babe. Yeah. Huh? There is. I think the batteries is dead. Don't you think? No, I think I can push it up this board though. Like I'll get a good start going. And then just There's a lawn mower. There you go out of here, these ticks are bad. Alright, so I don't have a measuring tape or anything, but I got the height of the truck is like that much where the rope is. So I think I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna go in here. Like, it just needs to fit like this. It's going to be a tight squeeze, but it'll fit. Totally going to fit. So this is the game plan. Got the ramps. I unloaded some of the stuff from the back. I'm going to try and push it up into here. Bam, into there. This is a chore built mini tractor. It's a ride on mower, I call it. I wouldn't even say it's a tractor. But it is the dream, and I think if it runs, we're gonna probably just use it for the yard because it would be so classic. Sammy could actually like cut the grass and just be happy about it, or me just riding around on it. And if if it runs, we could probably sell it for 300. If it doesn't run, probably could sell it still for 150, maybe for parts. And at the very, very least, we'll scrap it. But I think it's it's not super old. Like, it's newer than the other one that we had. The other one was a Husqvarna. 
worth more than we sold it for but it is what it is uh, see it has this thing we could even call Lowe's and be like listen we got this blah 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 try and help us to get it started at least I think all I need to do is charge the battery that's personally what I think so it doesn't look that bad looks like a, a, it's a 2006 so so yeah it's pretty old it's 12 years old but the other one was like a 30 years old or something still should run even at that rate So he made the fence too small for the mower so I had to tilt it like this and send it out and then pull it through I pretty much I broke that piece but honestly that's just a plastic guard that no saw that coming. Boys, we're gonna give it a running start here. Whew. Nice do it though. It's slipping. This is just Wow. Almost there. Can't get rid of this right here. We're in, dude. We're in. We're in? Okay. Almost just broke my toe, but we did it. Literally, he can do anything. Huh? It's crazy. <laughs> if you got the fucking. What is it? Perseverance. If your mind can conceive it and your heart can believe it you can achieve it you can achieve it I can perceive it but I didn't want my, my heart wasn't in this one and I still did it no one's heart was in this one watch your toes fine I just want that out you know what I mean at this point Oh, the window, it's too, too tall. Yeah, but only by the Can you take that window off somehow or now? Nah? Does that even not, that doesn't even matter. Yes, that's the problem. It's hitting it, I can see it. Is there any way we can unscrew that, the wheel? The shingles are in the way too, though, dude. What shingles? Whoa. This is so heavy. So I don't want it to come out if I go in there and move the shingles. Alright. Well, I can go in there and move the shingles. They're heavy though, dude. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should just tie it here. <laughs> Woo, boy. <laughs> uh, but on the real reel? We can take that, unclip that, and I'll pick up the back of the cap. Do you know what I mean? No, what? We can unclip that there. Uh-huh. Unclip And there. And I'll pick up the cap, and then you can just slide it in. How are you going to get it out? Oh, wait. It'll go in. I think. 
All right, so we got this little mini piece of scrap right here. Not mini, it's a nice exhaust pipe for something. And these two pieces of wood I'm taking. And then this stuff. I forget what they called this thing. Some, some uh, hook, something, hook. I don't know, I keep forgetting. But people buy those for like a dollar. And then this light could go for like a few dollars at the flea market, I think, or to someone that actually does, I don't know, maybe, potentially. It's pretty much, looks kind of new. This little fishing lure, which is actually meant to just be thrown out into a school of fish from what I've seen and hooking a live bait so that you can fish with that bait so this is supposed to just like hook bait, I'm pretty sure. That's what that's for. All right, successful mission. We're loaded up with the Troy Built Mini Tractor, looking to make anywhere from one to 300 off of it um, if we decide to sell it. So I would say a successful end to an awesome day. And honestly, I'm gonna tell the boy that if he wants me to, I'll come back and get the ladder that should have brought the trailer, but we didn't know how much good stuff was going to be here. We thought it was just the tractor. Even I'd take that hose at this point. But, uh, yeah, there's heavy poison ivy over here, though. Really heavy. Like this whole bushel right there. Poison ivy. We're out of here. Dreaming. It's continuing on and on and on forever. So, all right, I think that is about a shepherd's hook. Pretty sure. So, we got a shepherd's hook. It's a two dollar guy. But this is what we got going on here. I don't know how this is going to work, but. Oh no. Whew. This is getting crazier bringing it out than we thought. Well, I knew it was going to be crazy, but damn. You just put it up? Mm -hmm. You! Hey, I always be the kind of person my cat thinks I am. Well, look at Sissy. She's a princess and she loves her new toys, so she took all of them. They're all like segregated. I'm like, MJ's in there with his toys, but he hid them. He's so bratty. I just think you're going to get hurt. Nope, nope, nope. Not the worst. You could have gotten hurt. So that's good that you didn't. Legendary people probably would have done it like that. Fucking spider works in the grass. It's, it's, what? I think the battery's dead. Alright, let's charge it up then. Put some gas in this bitch. Bees nest. See it? It's nice. It's not even turning over. So. What do you mean? Like it's not even going like so you know the battery. The battery's definitely dead. I'm just gonna put a charge on it. The charger on it. Mm -hmm. Are you hugging your sissy MJ? Go ahead. Give her cleanance. Go ahead. Clean your sissy, MJ. Go ahead. <gasps> oh. Oh. So MJ loves the camera. Go ahead. Clean
Clean your sissy. Clean your sissy. Holy shit, they're looking at themselves on my phone. That's so funny. Okay. Alright, we are packing it in for the night. Had a heavy day, ups and downs. Started off heavy with the police showing up to our first mission. And looking back now, they actually turned out to be really cool guys. A little bit aggressive in the beginning but I was being aggressive because of the way the neighbor treated us, and we don't have that on film. He was super arrogant, treating us like scumbags, treating us like we were doing something illegal. And I got heated, Sammy got heated. His way of treating us, I started treating the police like that, and it was the wrong thing to do. So, honestly, thank you to the Summers Point Police for not taking it totally the wrong way. And Actually, we settled it and shook hands and it turned out totally okay and we continued on we went and had a great awesome time hanging out with Marilyn and Jake and we went and actually scooped up a Keep Life okay. mini tractor right on mower we had an amazing day all in all turned out good day got back here started answering emails so if you guys see anything in our videos that you want to buy or are interested in if we haven't sold it already we're giving it away. We do give a lot of stuff to our friends and family. Um, we will sell it. We'd rather sell off of YouTube than anywhere else because it's just easier. Sammy's making dinner now. Black beans. We're thinking about doing a situation video where we show like 10 to like 30 items and let people like see if they want to buy them and we'll suggest a price and then we can work from there. Um, maybe, you know, if someone like counter offers a little bit less and then we're like, uh, no, not worth it, blah, blah, blah. Like, go back and forth on YouTube. Because it's hard to find people that actually want what we have in this general area. Even though we know we have good stuff, it's still hard to fuck, to, to find and to sell. Um, around here locally, at least. No matter what happens, what ups and downs, and how life goes, you can never let a specific situation bring you down. Because at the end of the day. Oh my god, do you do you guys hear him? At the end of the he's so crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear the MJ, but he's just meowing like you know out of control. It's every time that I am like opening something that's canned. Look, they think oh, I feel like I have to go to the damn store now. It's just organic black beans. They would never eat that. But, like, I feel bad. Brats. Feed them bratty, food. bratty, bratty, brats. Are the lights on in the truck? Oh, fuck. Are they? Yeah. What the hell? I guess the key's still in it. At the end of the day, you can't let things get to you too much because you can't squander your time. All you have is time on this earth and this plane of existence and to just let something ruin your whole day or even part of your day which I was letting happen in when the police came and when that guy was being mean to us uh, I w it was really getting to me because we were you know over there busting our ass pretty much for 50 60 bucks and we were being treated by the neighbor mainly like we were criminals doing something wrong and I, obviously it got cleared up and they, the police found out we weren't. But to let something ruin your day like that and to have like a negative outlook for the rest of the day is not worth it. So try to move on from situations. You know, if, when life knocks you down, try and land on your back, I guess, is the, is the claim. Because if you can look up, you can get up. So cliche. Les Brown, but... So true, because life is going to continue to punch you square in the face as many times as it can get a chance. And other people 
I don't care who they are and how close they are to you, never want to see you more successful than themselves. And it's a human flaw. So even people that you think would support you, anytime you get ahead, they want to knock you down. And I'm not saying like the YouTube subscribers or like people that are successful and doing the same thing as you are and are happy to see you succeed. I'm saying like in general, the general population, you know, people you went to high school with, people you've worked at jobs with in the past, you know, people that are watching your, you know, YouTube or your Facebook or your Instagram, they're just hating. Like a lot of people just hate and, you know, no one wants to see you win. Very few people do, I should say. I shouldn't say no one. But, you know, prove to the world that you can do it. You can make it. So only you can prove to the world how great you can be. So never give up, never surrender, and keep pushing the dream that you have in your head every mother can day because if you don't keep pushing, you're going to just give up. So live the dream for the dream. You. What's the bean salad looking like? Bad because MJ thinks it's What's the last claim for the night? Good night or good morning. And we will see you guys tomorrow for some more claims. Yeah.